All right, well, he knows what will save the auto industry, and it won't take any bailout money. Our next guest reveals the one thing that car companies can get out of bankruptcy. Well, when we come back, we'll explain this to you. Well, the man with a plan is here. Our next guest says he can save General Motors from bankruptcy if they would just follow his advice. And he is the Christian car guy, Robbie Dilmore. He's joining us this morning. Robbie has worked in the industry himself for over 35 years. Your dad also worked for GM as well, right? You even owned a car dealership yourself. Now, you say the plan for GM. One of the most basic things is that they need to make a $10,000 car and still make profit on it. Here's the problem. How are they going to make profit off of a $10,000 car? Well, the beauty is they have all these resources, but they, they need to think through a, never, a different kind of box. You know, they've been thinking, we need to make an expensive car because we might make more profit, and, you know, our problem is our profits. We got a profit problem. But if they think back to like Henry Ford thought, we got to make a car that Americans can afford and they can buy, and we got to do something about the American debt. There's a huge problem with liquidity, just like in the housing market, if you're a car salesman out there every day, you're running up against people that are $20,000 oh, upside down. How yeah. can I put you in a car? Well, it's interesting. Your theory is so much different than what John McCain just did this morning. John McCain made news on Fox News Sunday just moments ago. He came out and said that it's time for GM to go bankrupt so that it can reorganize. And most importantly, it can extinguish those very onerous labor contracts that some people say are the big problem. Can GM, as you suggest, make a $10,000 car and make a profit with those labor contracts that are so expensive still in place? Well, what they've got to do is we've got to raise up a leader that can put everybody together. The labor's got to be involved in it. You know, the unions are a big part of it. What Henry Ford did was put people to work. All this job cutting stuff, that's, that's not the way to get out of a depression or a recession, is people have to work in order for that to happen. So we need to build a car that will sell across the world. The Koreans are doing it. They got a car, that, the reason why they're making market share, and who's gaining in the market currently? It's the least expensive car. Well, if we could come underneath them with our resources, and of course, we're gonna have to work with labor, we're gonna have to work with government, we're gonna have to do something about excise taxes, and all these things to say, okay, let's Let's all get on the same page and let's make a car that is absolutely competitive. Is and, that the car people you want? Ten thousand dollar car? Is that what people want? Wouldn't you love a beautiful car that, that seated five people that got great gas mileage? Wouldn't you love that in your payments instead of being? Well, sure, but I'd love to make ten million dollars a year too. <laughs> <laughs> I just it's not but that see, easy. The, the focus is if, if you go back again yeah. to like Henry Ford, he was trying to think. Gee, I need to figure out a way to make a less expensive floorboard. He had the, the people yeah. that shipped the crates in. He made the crates to a specific specification so that they could take the crate bottoms and make the floorboards of the cars. So that you need that kind of ingenuity because we've got to think outside of the box we've been in. All right, you can clear. hear more of Robbie's ideas on Truth Radio Network at Sirius Channel 161, or you can go to thechristiancarguy.com. Let's hope, Robbie, they're listening this morning. Otherwise, they're going bankrupt pretty much. <laughs> Thanks so much, Robbie.